The Great Pirate Adventure Last time, our friend, the turtle, was with a monkey on the ship and they tried to get away from the pirates. They got away, they got to the sea, and then they found two famous pirates and when they woke up, they found themselves again in a boat full of turtles. So let's see what happens now to our friends. Blackbeard's one mean pirate. He's feared from the Spanish main to Philadelphia town, said another voice. He just took the whole harbor of Charleston hostage said in another voice. Methinks we have company, said Chi Chi, striking a match. Let me put some light on the subject. There now. Well, blow me down. All around Chi Chi were turtles. What happened in Charleston, Chi Chi asked the turtles. Blackbeard, Bonnet, and over 300 pirates sailed into the harbor. They took some ships and the people on them prisoners. Blackbeard said he would kill the people if he didn't get a chest of medicine. The whole town was terrified. Did Blackbeard kill the people? whispered Moore. No, he let them go, answered the turtle. They gave Blackbeard the medicine and he sailed away. But not before he robbed every one of their valuables, added another turtle. So where are we now? asked Chi Chi. We are on Blackbeard's pirate ship, Queen Annie's Revenge, answered one of the turtles. And we are headed north to Beaufort in North Carolina. We heard Blackbeard and some of his men talking at another turtle. Blackbeard wants to keep the treasure for himself. He plans to split it up the crew and to split up the crew and get rid of most of them including that gentleman pirate steed bonnet how does blackbeard plan to do that asked mord by running the queen annie's revenge aground answer the turtles we have to get out of here cried chi chi first we need to get everyone back up on their feet said mord Chi Chi and Mord helped all the turtles flip upright. Just then, the ship came to a grinding stop. With a, with a loud crack, the Queen Annie Annie's revenge ran aground. We've stuck ground, cried Chi Chi. Let's get off this ship, said Mord. Mord and Chi Chi climbed out of the hole. Right in front of them was Blackbeard. The fierce pirate was yelling and giving orders. Follow us, Mord instructed the turtles. Quietly, Mord, Chi Chi, and the turtles crept behind Blackbeard. Carefully, they slipped overboard, and the turtles swam quickly away from the pirates. Chi Chi rode on Mord's back. Phew! Well, that was close, cried the little monkey holding on for dear life. I don't ever want to see another pirate as long as I live, declared Mord. Mord headed south to warmer waters. Chi Chi sat perched on top of his shell. Can you swim any faster? complained Chi Chi. I'll never see dry land at this rate. Sorry, said Mord, adding under his breath. I have a good mind to give you a flip. What did you say? asked Chi Chi. I see a chip, flipped Mord. The ship came alongside them. Chi Chi laid, laid flat against Mord's shell. Are they pirates? whispered the little monkey fearfully. I see two women on board, answered Mord, so they must not be pirates. The women on the ship threw a rope over the side. I'm saved, yelled Chi Chi, standing on Mord's back and waving his arms. Chi Chi climbed aboard. Me thanks to you, me, me thanks to you, kind ladies, 
said the little monkey, bowing and tipping his hat. Chi Chi noticed something different about these ladies. They were dressed like men, and they carried big swords. Chi Chi saw a man dressed in bright calico pants. It was the pirate captain Calico Jack Rackham. The women were Annie Boney and Mary Reed, the meanest women pirates in all of the Caribbean. Shiver me timbers, more pirates! screamed Chi Chi. Chi Chi ran to the back of the ship and looked over the rail. Mord was swimming away. Wait, Mord! called Chi Chi. Wait for me! And the little monkey dove straight into the water. With a big loud splash, Chi Chi hit the water. Down the little monkey sank. Mord heard the noise and turned around, and he saw his friend vanish beneath the waves. Quickly, Mord dove under the water. Mord swam under the monkey with all his might. Mord pushed Chi Chi to the surface. Are you okay, Chi Chi? cried Mord. Speak to me, little buddy. Chi Chi's eyes fluttered open. I hate water, groaned the little monkey. And that's the end of our story, said Grandma Turtle. Mort carried Chi Chi back to the jungles of Costa Rica. The little monkey gave up the pirating life and lived happily ever after. The pirates all came to a bad end. And as for Mort, well, Mort went on be to become the most famous turtle in all of turtle history. Wow, said Petey. Most sh Mort sure met a lot of pirates. He had one great pirate adventure. For sure, agreed Taz. Petey and Taz thanked Grandmother Turtle for her story. Grandmother Turtle's story was sure an adventure, said Petey. Sure enough, agreed Taz, but time's a-wasting, Petey, my boy. Let's go, shouted Petey, galloping away. Side by side, their eyes shining with excitement, Petey and Taz start out on their next big adventure. And this, my friends, is the end.